So intricacies behind the ear, you'll feel muscle tension all the way around to the side of the jaw. And I can grab with my technique and I can squeeze and I want to get all of these neck muscles released. Simply just releasing these neck muscles right here can be a very valuable asset to any massage therapist. I, get, I want to get the top of the shoulder. This is triple heater 17 that I'm working on. Uh, if I'm working on the shoulder, gallbladder 21 would be a great place to work with the technique. I also grab the whole scapula and they gong that a few times and I do underneath the axillary. Okay, so once that's loosened up, I would just do the other side. But uh, don't forget about the rhomboids. A lot of people carry uh, tension and pain in the rhomboids. And that loosens that up very nicely. Saves me a lot of time, saves my client a lot of pain. And so there's intricacies on the upper portion of the body, on the posterior side. Before I go any further, I'm going to back up and show you a spot that I, I missed as far as talking about it. And that's that small intestine 16 point right here on the side of the neck. Uh, that is an emotional uh, point called a window in the sky point. Uh, some people call it window of the sky. No matter, it's just, it is the controller of emotions. And this is a master window in the sky point. And so a lot of people carry emotional trauma and spiritual trauma in this point. Now in traditional text it only does emotions however I found all kind of spiritual nasty stuff in them you know uh, just working on people so it obviously houses some type of spiritual activity as well but it's a good idea to spend some time on that to really get that out for somebody and then we can work it. So now we'll go on to doing intricacies of the lower portions. Taking a look at the ankles, you have the medial malleolus or inner ankle bone and then you have the lateral malleolus or ankle bone and we're going to do all around uh, this bone on the outside, lateral side and on the, the medial side. So first let's take a look at the lateral and I'm just going to take the heel of the other foot and I'll use that for my squeezing and uh, as you see I have his foot kind of cradled. Uh, the anterior portion of his foot cradled around that medial or medial and lateral malleolus. And so I'm just going to give that a few squeezes. Now there's a lot of reflexology points uh, all through the bottoms of the feet and you can nag on them and it clears them out really well. Okay, and so that loosens up that portion of the ankle. Now I'm just going to move to the side and I'm just going to do the same thing nothing new here. I'm still doing my tight muscle technique. So do that a few times on that side. Now I just grab around the, the back portion or posterior side. Squeeze again. And I'm holding uh, at kidney three on the medial side. And uh, I've got a cluster of uh, bladder points uh, on the lateral side. So just give that a few clicks and then I can uh, work, the, work the medial side which I will show you on this one. First I want to make sure I balance him out. Okay, and then this is what I'm actually doing. You can see it on the inner, inner foot here. And uh, I'll do it with this hand and I'll squeeze with this hand. And so I'm just working around kidney two, three, uh, and the lower muscles of the ankle or they're wrapped through there. Okay, do the back side. And again, this is a wonderful technique for being able to clear out congestion that would normally uh, be very difficult to clear. Now, then I hold. And you know, I'm doing about eight or nine clicks, something of that effect. And 
then if I want to do some intricate work with massage, I can. If I want to wait for a few minutes and come back and do some more Nagong on it, I can. Um, if you want to do some reflexology, you know, not a problem. I would take the foot, you know, and I would put my hand on the reflexology points that, let's say for kidney, for example, right in the center. Most people have that one, and yeah, he's got that one too. I just grab the heel of the other foot, and it goes away. Right now, it's almost gone. I can do multiple reflexology points at a time just by putting my fingers on them. So if you know reflexology, this really, really helps. And I can do the other side. And so rather than causing pain to my client, I can do a light technique like this. And now, of course, I'm working on this side. And I'm squeezing on this side. Fantastic. Now we've just done a whole reflexology session on him as well. So we'll do a little swiping, clear off any of that negative energy. And I can feel that there's some deepness in here, so I can click that out too. And that's what I mean by coming back a few minutes later and seeing who's left. We kind of, in Shun Shen Tao, we like to carpet bomb disease and then see who's still alive. Clears out the riffraff. So, that feels pretty good.